How's it going Wedge Shavers? This is Carlos and welcome to the Razor Company's YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a quick how-to video on a subject that doesn't seem to get a lot of attention nowadays due to the advent of really awesome soaps and cropes out there, but uh, not to be left out are the shave sticks. That's right. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a quick shave uh, or I'm going to teach you how to lather properly using a uh, shave stick and uh, use your beard and your stubble uh, to your advantage when you're going ahead and introducing a lather. It's actually very quick. All you need is your shave stick, which I've already prepared in this kind of push-up deodorant uh, type of apparatus. You have your shave brush. And of course, to shave with, you need your double-edged razor and your razor blade. So, um, with the exception of those three items, you can always use either your faucet to introduce water as you're uh, lathering or just a small bowl. In this case, I'm gonna use a bowl. So, first things first, what you wanna do is just put a small amount at the bottom of the bowl. Take a little bit, dampen your face, get that ready. Make sure your beard is nice and damp. Now, I took a shower. And I really recommend for anybody that is looking to get a nice close shave to do it right after they get out of the shower, whether it's at night before you go to bed or in the morning before you head out to, you know, your meeting or to drop off your kids at school, you know, head to the office, do whatever you got to do. And uh, so having a shave stick actually uh, cuts down the uh, amount of time it would take because you don't have to take out, you know, the, you don't have to bowl lather, uh, you don't have to go ahead and... Uh, uh, lather out of the puck. What you're basically going to do is you're going to introduce the um, the stick itself to your skin, and you're going to use your stubble to leave some of that residue from the soap onto your skin. So this is what I do. Typically, I just dip the tip of the soap right into that water, and I introduce it by outlining my beard and working it into the stubble itself. Now you will see a small film form, okay? Perfectly normal. That lets you know that the residue from the soap is getting there. Now, once that's done, I just do a quick smiley. And that's basically it. <sighs> now it's time to go ahead and get started with uh, the shave. So you're gonna take your shave brush, you're gonna dip it, and introduce it onto the face and start agitating your beard or the stubble wherever you choose to go ahead and apply this uh, shave stick until you start to see that lather really form. As you can see it really doesn't take long that lather will really start coming out. And this is really good for times when you're kind of backed up, you have a couple of things to do and maybe you forgot to shave or maybe you're traveling, you're on that business trip and you don't have a lot of space in your, you know, your travel kit or your dop. You take one of these uh, shave sticks with you. Uh, in particular, these um, offer uh, close to three ounces of soap. And I'll leave a link to the one I'm using right now, which is the uh, blue, uh, blue label, which is based on the blue barbershop scent. You can get these things for way under 10 bucks. So you can pick up at least two of them from the razor company and uh, anything over 10 bucks from them ships for free, which if you are a customer already from the Razor Company, you knew that. Who am I kidding, right? <laughs> so, as you can see, you know, got quite a bit of lather there. And you're good to go, you know, to be able to start shaving. It doesn't matter if you're maybe using this on your legs, shaving your arms, shaving your face. If you have some stubble, 
you know, especially if you have something like a little bit of a beard or even some heavier stubble from, you know, letting your hair grow from a couple of days, uh, it's going to go ahead and it's going to allow you to be able to go ahead and catch, you know, that soap everywhere around your face to go ahead and agitate with the brush. <laughs> and uh, create a really good lather for yourself. Now, uh, like I said before, um, there are different scents that come with these shave sticks, in particular with the, uh, the labels that I have. Uh, if I recall correctly, there are four. There's black label, there's green label, there's blue label, and there's gold label. Gold label has a scent that's very reminiscent to uh, Aqua di Parma. Um, black label, uh, it states that it is a classic uh, barbershop fougere, uh, which is really good. That's a nice masculine barbershop. Uh, green label is a woody aromatic. And between all of them, just between us, if I'm not using a barbershop, I go for that. Great, great scent. I highly recommend it. And then there is a blue label, which I told you that I'm using right now. And that one is based on a, a Mediterranean style barbershop scent. Uh, it's, uh, it's an Italian barbershop scent. Uh, particularly, it's from a very classic uh, aftershave that's uh, really, really hard to find now. Some would call it unobtainium. It's called Floyd Blue. Now, um, aside from that, there are other companies like Epsilon Blue Mediterranean that actually tried to come up with a similar uh, scent. Uh, Forbo, I think, uh, came out with one. Um, you have that kind of reminiscence of like a European uh, Aqua Velva. And uh, also, if you... Uh, use a company like Barrister and Mans soaps and uh, aftershaves. They actually have their reserve line, which is homage to a lot of the classic, bar, uh, you know, scents for shaving from back in the day. And they have one called Barrister and Mans Cool. That one is, I mean, just like this. And you're gonna love this scent if you, uh, if you go ahead and take a little, little whiff of it as you're shaving, it's nice and fragrant. Pair it up with, uh, your aftershave of choice, person. If you want to go classic, I'd say Aqua Velva, you know, something like that. And you're good to go. I mean, look at that. And we've been chatting here for a few minutes already. You got a nice sheen to it. You don't have any issues. This is shave worthy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start with that. So uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, that's a little uh, how to to be able to go ahead and get started with your um, Shave stick be sure to go ahead and check out uh, the different ones. I know they definitely have uh, Blue label on the website. You can check that out at the razor company But the link will be down below in the description just in case uh, you want to go directly to it Be sure to check out that as well as some of the other razor rock products. They make razors. They make brushes. They make soaps aftershaves they even use uh, beard washes, which I actually use every now and then. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great time. I hope you learned a little something. And uh, hopefully this helps enhance your shave, saves you a little bit of time so you can concentrate more on things that matter like family and uh, your personal health. So take care, guys, and hopefully we will see you next time.